Hey guys, welcome to the Mr. Maple Show. We're down here in Texas. I'm in Cindy Bowles Garden. Cindy, where are we gardening out of today? This is Farmer's Branch, Texas, which is a suburb of Dallas. Very nice. We have a lovely garden for you here today. Uh, Cindy, thank you for opening your garden up today. Uh, how long have you been gardening with Japanese maples? Well, I'm so happy to have you guys here. I have I bought my first Japanese maple, this one, in uh, ooh, 2000 wow. and got hooked. And from then on, and then I moved into this house in 9-11, oh, 2001, mm -hmm. actual date, 9-11. But uh, then I began to garden here and I moved that one from the old house and then started uh, putting in Japanese maples. And when people came here on the garden tour, they would say, did you hire a landscape designer? I said, no. They said, did you draw it out? I said, no. I bought a Japanese maple and planted it and put stuff around it. And I bought another Japanese maple and planted it and put stuff around it. And that's how I landscape. Well, this place is absolutely beautiful. I love what you got here. There's still some great spring color. It's absolutely outstanding. Uh, you've got a good diversity of different types. Yeah. How many Japanese maples do you have here? I, I have 40 some in this backyard and 10 plus in the front yard. And by the end of this weekend, I'm thinking I may have at least another five or six oh, because nice. there are some coming this afternoon. But um, yes, I'm very proud. Now I'm trying to get more rare, uh, little lesser known Japanese maples. So we're here early. We've got a maple meetup going on today. There's a whole group of guys coming and ladies that are going to be all around your gardens. I appreciate you letting us come in here early and film a little bit. Guys, let's check out this garden here at Cindy Bowles Place. Y'all check out this Acer Palmatum Dissectum Garnet here in Cindy Bowles' garden. She actually goes in and limbs it up and opens it up a little bit, get, lifts it up off the ground, and then you can really get in and appreciate the structure of this tree. Garnet, a classic red lace leaf Japanese maple, weeping umbrella habit. But then again, this one here, as you can see, has been opened up and you can really appreciate the structure. And when you do this with a lace leaf, you get a unique structure in the garden that looks very bonsai-esque. It looks like something right out of a Japanese garden. And with this red color, it pops very well out here in the landscape. I like garnet because it gives you an excellent scarlet red fall color as well. I mean, check this tree out.
See, this is what I love about a garden. When you have these little rest, these peaceful places in the garden for you to sit down and rest and enjoy, take around the whole garden, the setting. We've got a water feature right here beside me, adding that water sound in the garden. I've got a Shin de Sojo in a container right here. I mean, this thing is an electric spring colored tree that gives you that fiery red in the spring. A nice bench to sit on. You've got one of these Japanese lanterns in here giving you some hardscaping and a Shirasan palmetto folium right here above us. I mean, this is such a fun little setting in the garden. And the Shin de Sojo with that spring color that's just electric fiery red, it goes green during the summer and that electric fiery red again in the fall. I mean, an excellent tree to do in a container, but you can take the spring interest and move it around the garden to really get wherever it's gonna be the most dramatic. With this backdrop of these wooden fences, it helps accentuate the trees, their shapes, the containers, and everything in the garden. Guys, check out these blood goods. There's actually three different grafted blood goods here planted near each other. At this point, these trees have grown together at the roots and have become one tree. But as you can see, there's three different grafted trees here. It gives a unique way to have a tree with that three kind of bonsai-esque look, but planted by planting three together. It also allows you to have a bigger tree in the landscape quicker because you get the effect of all three trees in here at once making this look as a much larger tree. Blood good, a classic red upright Japanese maple. Giving some good spring color out here. Also has a good fall color. Named after Blood Good Nursery. People think it's the color. It's actually named after a guy and his last name was Blood Good who had a nursery and he made Japanese maples famous in the United States. Y'all check out this small Kunara pygmy right here. 
being able to grow in the smaller part of the walkway for right now. She's able to enjoy the smallness of the plant, the fullness, the density of Cunar Pygmy, the brighter foliage with the coral pink on top, just giving you a nice spring display over top of the ground cover down below. Cunar Pygmy, a selection from Yamina Rare Plants Nursery, was found as a witch's broom at uh, Cunara Springs Restaurant in Australia. They have like this arboretum there and in this big palmatum, a witch's broom. That's where this tree originated from Australia. It's so cool to see this little dwarf being used down here in Texas. What a beautiful garden down here in Dallas, Texas. It shows you that you can grow Japanese maples down here in the heat of the South, down here in Farmer's Branch, Texas. Uh, Cindy, thank you so much for having us and walking us around your garden. Uh, this garden is just immaculate. Well, thank you. Uh, it's really my pleasure to have you guys. And now the thing about Dallas, Texas, and you need to know, uh, need to not be afraid of a little bit of leaf scorch because in the heat of the summer many of them the blood good over there and, and some of the ones in the front and many of the ones at the Ar Dallas Arboretum get leaf scorch and as I always tell people just don't worry about it it's going to be gorgeous in the spring you know we just deal with that because our summers are oh our summers are awful uh, yeah, there's certain things in Dallas you just got to be aware of, but it's, it's so amazing that you can do this here in this climate. And I just thank you so much for, for having us today with your, with your garden. How long have you been gardening? Uh, well, I'll tell you, I grew up on a ranch in New Mexico where there was dirt, dirt and lots of dirt. And you could see for a hundred miles. And so I went to Oregon with my parents when I was 11 and then my grandma I went for a walk behind my grandma's house and there were ferns growing wild and I was hooked. And so from that age on, I've liked to grow things. And even in apartment life, I would plant something outside by the steps. And so I've always been an avid gardener. I gardened in Arizona for a number of years, which is way different than gardening in Dallas. And then I've been in Dallas since uh, 19, back in Dallas since 1999. Well, it's a beautiful garden and I appreciate you hosting everybody here today from the Texas Japanese uh, Maple Group on Facebook. Uh, thank you all so much for joining in today. Take care, God bless, and have a great day.